welcome to a, another monthly gathering of Tai Chi news and information and below here you'll find a whole series of stuff that I hope you're going to find amusing, entertaining, instructional, educational during this what's rather been a rather disappointing summer here in the UK it's been pretty much cold and raining for the whole of the summer. I'm in Bath, a beautiful city, house sitting in this strange room here with a bearded dragon behind me and guitars. Anyway, um, the content, I should have had a break this month, haven't been able to for a whole series of reasons, so I've bundled together a bit of content for you. Hopefully it'll keep you going for the next few weeks until I've got some more interesting stuff coming out in the following month. More on that later. So let's have a look at what's going on. Well, the first is you may remember I started this year off presenting a series of what I called workshops and these were collections of themes within Tai Chi specifically to train certain aspects. So we did the slow and we did the silent workshop. And the third in that series is balance and finally it's been finished and I'm presenting it to you this month. Now if you're a ninja or flying dragon it's already added to your library for free. If you're a grasshopper check the other email that should have come in after this notification came out, you've got a discount code to take the workshop there. An incredible workshop, pulling in resources from absolutely everywhere. So if balance is your thing, take a look at the contents. Hit that learn more button and you'll find a tremendous amount of material to really focus on one of the most fundamental of Tai Chi. So what else have we got? Well, in the read, watch, listen, you've got the second part of the Don't Dine Shackles podcast in which we discuss Mencius and his ideas for how to do good. Now, you may think, what a load of abstract nonsense, but I do recommend reading or listening at least to this podcast because it really enables us all to think about how we can translate some of these more abstract ideas into practical daily good activities. So yeah, I think it's an important one. If you get a chance, listen to Don't Die in Shackles part two. In the second part, and all this is open to everyone, there's no limits on it, just go and do it now. Uh, in the second part, How to Meditate Without Dodding Off, an article on alternative forms of meditation for those of you who may not be in particularly impressed by sitting in front of walls. And finally, the documentary on the parts of the old Kung Fu series with David Carroll and Kuai Chen Kane. And if you watched any of those original classics, you'll find this short documentary fascinating. So let me know what you think. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Following that, we have a discussion series. Love to know what you think about this. Meat versus protein. As someone who's been a lifelong vegetarian, I always get these questions about what do you do for protein? Where do you get that? Where do you find it from? You're not going to get that from a lettuce leaf, are you? Well, it's quite surprising the sources of protein. And protein in itself, just by itself, is not necessarily the be all and end all. It's also what it is packaged with and what it comes along with. So interesting little discussion from the Zoe group and if you don't know the Zoe group they're basically this um, they do lots of research and presentations and excellent podcast series on different aspects of healthcare. Um, this is particularly good aimed at exercise and uh, what our body needs particularly as we get older what sort of protein intake we're looking for. So really recommend that. Skimming down, we're looking at the workouts this month, not the workshops, the workouts. For those of you on the course, we have for everybody another freebie this month, which is the audio balance section. Now, I recommend downloading this onto your device, taking it out somewhere, sitting under a tree alongside a river, going and finding a bit of space somewhere, whether it be in your back garden, on a balcony or in a, in a quiet room, Plug yourself into that and listen and follow along. That's what it's about. Turn off the screens and enjoy an audio experience. Well, that's for everyone and that's available now. Following week, those of you on the, on the workout course or on Ninjas or Flying Dragons, you'll get it automatically, is the wobble board workout and it re reinforces this concept of balance again. So if you are 
interested in developing balance long term, do have a look at this. I reviewed and tested this out. And you might be surprised at what I found. Number three, hand and fingers workout. That's because I've had joint issues this month. Look at that finger. So I've been trying to work hard on that and working through these exercises and they've been very helpful. So have a look at those if you have any joint issues at all. Finally, the stepping patterns. That relates to another idea which is coming through next month, but I'll leave that for the moment. Good workout that is to go over those basic stepping patterns in Tai Chi, whatever style you're at, whatever level you're at, whether you're a beginner or whether you're a professor. These are the fundamentals to go back to again and again. And finally, this month, we have the recommended video from Ned. Thank you very much on this interesting little discussion on the relationship between Qi and the lymphatic system, what it means for our immune system too. So yeah, very interesting, very interesting. Have a look at that. You may even be interested in some of this particular doctor's other videos. Well, that's it for this month. I'm out of here the day after tomorrow, heading further south. And so I'll be in touch. Got any comments on any of this material below? You know where to leave it or feedback to me. Leave it on a forum, leave it a comment anywhere. Be nice to know what you're thinking. Have a good remaining few days of what's left of this summer. And uh, I'll speak to you soon. Enjoy the content. Let me know what you think about those workshops in particular. Catch you later.